the euro dollar market is now has the index has inverted. Every time that has happened, something bad has happened. That's what I'm concerned about. The reason I love you guys is because we're I'm a hardcore gold, silver, and you know, I'm Bitcoin and all this. I'm a hard asset guy. So it's good news for us, but it's bad news uh, for the bo boomers. Very bad. And um, what's happening is Jay Powell of the Fed is trying to push the yield curve up. But as most of you know, the real yield curve is a euro dollar curve. It's not the Fed curve. And the euro dollar curve went inverted. Now, every time that has happened, tragedy followed. So most of us are old enough to remember the last time that yield curve, inverted, not the last time, but an earlier time was 2007, the euro dollar euro curve in, inverted and the Fed was trying to hold it up. So the Fed's pushing it this way, but the euro dollar is going this way. And that led to the Lehman moment, 2008. So then what happened in in uh, 2019, it inverted again, the repo market inverted, the euro dollar inverted and COVID appeared. So uh, once again, the euro dollar yield curve inverted just recently. And I'm, I'm standing alongside my friend Jim Records that this next one is going to be the biggest of all. Now, <clears throat> it's good news for some people, but horrible news for the boomers who are starting to retire. So if you're a stock market person and you're counting on the stock market to keep you alive, yeah. you know, let's say, let's say you're 65 years old and you're gonna live to 85, you might be in serious trouble. It's, it's, really, it's really, really horrible. Um, but it was predicted in this book here, I'm not a communist, but it's called the Communist Manifesto. And you know, I'm just shamelessly plugging my book, The Capitalist Manifesto, which comes out in a few weeks. But this book here is only 50 pages. My book is 500 pages. But he, <laughs> Marx was an idiot, but he was a smart guy. He predicted everything that's happening today in America. So he said that what's going to happen, and it's happening in this country here is the boomers will go bust. Well, let me say it again. This book was written in 1848. It is prescient. It, it is calling exactly what's happening today, 1848 till today. So <clears throat> unfortunately, what, what uh, Marx was saying was that capitalism would destroy 50% of the population and, and sh shove them into poverty. So what happened was this book was written in 1848. 1960, I, I started studying it in 1965. I went to school in New York. I went to military school. 66, I'm in Vietnam as a student with the Merch Marine Academy. And I could see what this book was saying coming to life. 72, I'm flying in Vietnam. I was a Marine pilot, it's my squadron patch. And then in 74, ERISA comes out. And ERISA is Employee Retirement Income Security Act, today known as a 401k. So you have all of these baby boomers who have no idea about markets, and they blindly give their money over to Wall Street, who rip them off. I mean, I'm not against Wall Street. I'm just against corruption. They rip them off. They don't know what's going to happen. And now, exactly as Records has been saying, you know, he says the Fed, the most incompetent people going, they're telling everybody everything's going right. Whereas the euro dollar market is so much bigger than the Fed. The euro dollar market is the biggest market in the world and it's just inverted. We're going down. The, the, the biggest problem again is the euro dollar system, which is a thousand times bigger than the Fed is crashing. Europe, Europe is going down right now. I mean, if you see the report, and this is not me speaking, this is the, uh, the Wall Street Journal talking about it. There's so many rioting going on about this COVID stuff. People just don't want to take it anymore. The uncertainty is too high. So the, the, so the euro dollar system is starting to go down. But, but Jim Records talks about it's a thing called Treffen's Dilemma. Treffen's Dilemma took place in 1944 when the US dollar became the reserve currency of the world. And what that meant was that the US dollar was screwed anyway. So one of the reasons I'm a gold bug and a silver bug and a Bitcoin bug and all this, I just don't trust the Fed. And all these people say, oh, don't fight the Fed, you know, ride with the Fed. They're full of it. And so when, when I listen to Jim Records, it's about Treffen's dilemma. We always have to run a deficit, and now we can't run it much longer. So more than inflation or deflation, 
is that the euro dollar market is now has the index has inversion every time that has happened something bad is that's what i'm concerned with. when you look at the numbers is that we're already in a depression in other words if if if, 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 if economy has been growing at three percent it's only growing at two percent that's a technical depression and that's what he's saying in this new book the new depression so people are watch oh the stock market's up everybody's happy and all this but everything's inverting upon us so just recently the euro dollar curve inverted every time that has happened it, it was followed by lehman brothers and it was and so this one is going to happen again and that's why i'm saying to people because I'm a gold and silver and Bitcoin bug. This is a good time to get into gold and silver now. <laughs> I'm just saying right now, if you're a boomer, what this guy Marx wrote about was that 50% of our population was shipped from, let's say, proletariat to poverty. That's what he was calling for in 1848. And when I saw 1974 come, and that's when they put us into ERISA, Employee Retirement Income Security Act, where the defined contribution or the 401k or the IRA, it shoved all of these amateurs, people with no financial education into the stock market. And Jim Rickards and I, good friends, you can tell, but when we were kids, nobody was in the stock market. We're in the bond market. Remember that? And he says, suddenly they needed to find a way to get some stupid people into the stock market. <laughs> so they got the 401k and all the boomers are in it. So we shifted from defined benefit pension plan so Ford Motor Company has a defined benefit. So Ford Motor stood behind the retirement. Mm -hmm. And then when it went to, in 74, it shifted to defined contribution. And I've talked to Jim about this. I said, oh my God, that was the beginning of the end at that point. Because it was pushing all of us, all us boomers, into the stock market, not the bond market. I'm not buying gold because I like gold. I buy gold because I don't trust the Fed. And you know, and, and these people actually listening to the Fed got to be kidding me. The 700 PhDs. That's 700 people like my poor dad running the big Ponzi scheme going. <laughs> I just don't trust the Fed. You know, what's his name? Ron Paul doesn't trust the Fed. <laughs> you know, if, if, you, when, if you look at, if you understand this guy here, the Fed is actually a Marxist organization. So my my strike price for uh, Bitcoin is 6000 So I think today it's about 40000 So I'm selling the money. So as my rich dad said to me, your profit's not made when you buy, not when you sell, it's made when you buy. And so you always want to be early into the market. It's the same as, you know, when I bought gold, it was $50 an ounce. I still have, I, I bought a, bought my first Kruger in, in 1972 in Hong Kong because it's illegal for Americans to own gold, which I thought was interesting. And that little Vietnamese woman yelling at me about spot and she wouldn't give me a discount. Everybody wants a discount. <laughs> I'm going, what is going on here? So the issue is people don't know what money is. That's the problem. We have no financial education in school. And I've made a fortune in Rich Dad, Poor Dad, saying that we should have financial education in our schools. But we don't. We don't even know what money is. So Bitcoin going up and down, I don't really care because my entry point is 6,000. It's always your entry point. And how many ounces do you have? How many coins do you have? But also, if it's going to crash, it's when you get out. The stock market is a, you know, it's not an all-time high, but it's pretty high. It, it adjusted last week. I, I feel for my baby boom friends. They're, they're going to get hammered. It's as Jim Record says and Breffin says, everybody's saying, what is real? What is real? You know, and, and I think really that's kind of the question. So gold and silver are God's. There's no counterparty risk to gold and silver. They're elements of the periodic table. So God is the... A uh, counterparty to gold and silver. Bitcoin is the network system. Same as Ethereum. It's the network. It's outside the control of the Fed. And so when people say that the Fed's going to shut down Bitcoin and all that, it's possible. They did that in China. So anything's possible. So I would just listen to idiots like me and go, well, maybe I should do something different than count yeah. on my Apple stock keeping going up. Yeah, I mean, I, I have two properties. We have our own private police. So if you don't have your own private police, that's a consideration. And and I and I talked to the private police force guy because he's an off-duty police officer with attachment to the headquarters. He says right now that they brought in a new teacher to train police officers. So I, I forget the numbers now, but let's say they need 50 new police officers a year. They only have 17 in the academy. So the attrition rate is accelerating, but they bring in the school teacher to teach 
police officers how not to do in the Marine Corps is called pugil, pugil, how not to use your fist. Mm. So there's many police officers that try and kind of talk people out of killing people or something. I don't know what they're doing. But our problem is our education system. It's Marxist. Postmodernist education is Marxist. And so that's really the corruption is in our education system. And I love my poor dad. He's a great, he was a smart guy, but he was a Marxist. He's not a Catholic. Do you understand what I'm saying? Just because you have a PhD and you make a lot of money doesn't mean you're a capitalist. So you look at you look at most of these people on Hollywood and all that, they make millions of dollars, but they're not capitalists, they're Marx. And they get that distinction. And I hate to say it again, but this guy said it all in this book. 1848, he was talking about America today. They talked, he talked about stage one and stage two. Stage one was when capitalism shifted to socialism. That happened when we had Social Security, Obamacare, Everybody is on welfare now. So socialism is now complete in America. Stage two began in January of 2020. I'm not Republican or Democrat, but when Trump's election was stolen, that was the start of communist stage two. And since then they have COVID passports. They have, you know, defund the police. Um, no, that they, they, they get released right away and all this stuff. All of this is part of stage two. And what Marx said, in this book, stage two is opposite of stage one. In other words, the violence is about to begin. And that's what we warned about. So if you look at history, the communists have murdered hundreds of millions. Of, so it's about to start. <laughs>